it was designed in 1946, the contract was let. Boeing only had about one month to design this aircraft, which is really amazing when you look at the kind of plane it is from a clean sheet of paper. And uh, they flew the first prototype, I believe, August 13th of 1947. And then they only built 12. This is the last of the 12. Fish and Wildlife ended up with these aircraft after uh, Boeing lost a contract bid to Cessna with their L-19 Bird Dog. And uh, all the aircraft, as far as I know, were transferred to Lake Hood there in Anchorage, Alaska, where my dad was now a mechanic. So he worked on these, fell in love with them. I think he got to fly them a few times. And then uh, Fish and Wildlife decided to standardize their fleet. They sold off all the other aircraft that they have including these uh, YL-15s. This one had been flown back to Pierre, South Dakota before the bid opening, and, and my dad was high bidder on this aircraft at $800, uh, which was a lot of money for him at the time. It has nice handling characteristics. It jumps off the ground surprisingly quickly. It's sort of hard to get used to those low numbers that you're seeing on climb out. You kind of feel like you're gonna die. He had this aircraft when I was about two years old. When I was six, we moved to the shore of Spinard Lake, actually lived waterfront property there on the world's largest seaplane base. So we had float traffic all the time. Dad eventually ended up with uh, floats for this aircraft and I flew in it many times as a kid and just loved it. When Dad passed, I was just determined to rebuild it again and have that opportunity. I bought the uh, aircraft, he'd acquired two other airplanes, uh, same model, and all the spare parts in the world for it. And then in 2003, started the rebuild on this. It took us 13 years. My wife was kind of the Boeing widow. We've been the caretaker for 63 years now, and uh, that's sort of a heavy weight on my shoulder every time I fly it. I'm well aware of what a treasure it is and how rare it is, and, uh, and I want to take care of it. <laughs>